Okay, oh wait, no, don't do that, what are you doing? Uh, okay, Monkey Dash back here. Um, so today, I think my intention is to try and uh, get the four map pieces. Do you remember how we designed the puzzles for this on the whiteboard? And we purposely did the thing that we later thought made it too hard, but we put every island on the top and every puzzle chain on the side, and then we made sure that there was an object on every island that you needed for every puzzle chain. So that if you wanted to solve any like long puzzle chain, you had to visit every yeah, single every island. Single island yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why like when you actually play this yeah, game, you yeah, have to go from yeah, yeah. island to island to island over and over and over again. I remember discussions talking about, was that too annoying for players to no constantly going board, from island to, island to island to island to solve this stage. And you the, said, uh, I don't care, I said 40 hours. Wrench. It's gonna be 40 <laughs> hours. <laughs> I remember when you had that uh, squirt bottle by your desk, and when people would come in and they would talk to you for too long, you would squirt them like we were cats. <laughs> and eventually, and then... everyone turned on me, and they tackled me, and like Brett held me down underneath Tammy's desk and opened the lid on the squirt bottle and dumped it on my head. And then you, you went home pouting. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You went home mad. Well, I was pretty mad. <laughs> I was like, can't, can't you take a joke? <laughs> can't you take a joke? Um, oh, I've got nothing going on down here. So if I click this, I can't get down again. I've lost my empty line. Oh no. Which is like no problem whatsoever, but I don't know. I, I, I like having an empty line there. Uh, walk to the path. There's nothing up here, is there? I don't know why I'm bothering to look where I know that there's nothing. But just to come back later. Is there any order here? here? No. Okay, to... no, nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I suppose we've got a bit of audio commentary out of it. <clears throat> um, right. What do I... Uh, I can go here to get the book that I'll need later. Just, you just get out of this so easy, don't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he, he takes any of these excuses. I don't know what he does if you say this. Oh, he thought it was a joke. Okay. This just ends the conversation. I think this and this both work. I don't know about this one. <laughs> um, I think there's a fire in, in the kitchen. Oh, oh, I better go to the kitchen check it out. And this one is, uh, I better tell the chef so he goes to the kitchen. Super, super easy puzzle. I always remember this being kind of like, oh, please don't wake up, please don't wake up, when I was a kid. But like, I don't think it ever does. You can like go right up to his face and nothing ever happens. Pick 
get a small reference there. Uh, what one was I going to use? Put the shipwrecks, nylon, used nylon with that. I'm going to do Indiana Jones. and I have no reason to ever come back here. Literally now. <laughs> um, oh, I can go to the party, can I? Uh, a shame you don't get the option to watch the red line again. Uh, costume shop. The only reason I go in the costume shop is to get a costume. Do, 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 do. Lots of uh, references in here. Uh, Fred Flintstone. Oh, my mouse is off. Greatest costume change. Uh, oh, I need to go back to the scab to get the drink. For the spin contest, so I might as well go the short, short way. Uh, kiosk. I always used to read that as koisk for some reason, and I'm not even dyslexic. I think I just didn't know what the word was. The only context that I'd seen that word was this. Party. Going to the party. Sure. I got my invitation right here. I don't know why I'm doing that. This party goes on for so long. <laughs> Much better at talking to women now. And you can never go back to the Koisk. Oh, I've got my line back. Is this the way you'd have to walk across the tree trunk? Not an actual bridge. You can afford an actual bridge. Now here there's um, some sort of glitch you can do that when you come out of the party you can just skip right ahead to the tunnels at the end. I don't know how you do it. It might need like some sort of hacked version or something. I'm not going to do that anyway. I want to play it properly. Go to magic. Can I get the fish first? Leave me alone. Can I get the fish? Because I need the fish. This is this is fun. This is fun, this bit. Fish. 
it's got a good bit of music as well when it kicks off. Can I get him to chase me? Because like, you're supposed to rattle the cans, I know that, to get him to come out. I just want to see if like doing it this way gets him to chase you as well. I don't think it does. No, this isn't working, is it? Alright, let's do it the old fashioned way. I worked on this part and there was a really funny bug where you make the chef mad at you and he chases you around harassing you. And I, I had a bug where I didn't get rid of the chef and make him go back to home if he left the area. So he'd fall in. I worked on this part and there was a really funny bug where you make the chef mad at you and he chases you around harassing you and I, I had a bug where I didn't get rid of the chef and make him go back to home if he left the area so he'd follow you around the map but the thing was um, he would we'd reuse actor numbers and he was actor 12 or something and that actor was like um, Captain Dredd's ship on the map, so like Captain Dredd's ship would follow you around the map, yelling, "You are just some scum!" And I don't, wanna, you know, and just every character, every room you went into, a different random thing would just harass you and, and berate you. Why didn't we leave that in? <laughs> nothing else in here but I don't know if there's anything you can just look at oh he waits for you outside I think and he's like where the hell where did you go how do you what, what's going on rah, rah, rah. okay let's leave That then. Smelly fish in my dress. So you pick up the dog later. Because obviously he has to catch you first. There's the map piece, just look on the wall and think, oh, super, this is the easiest puzzle ever. I just do this, pick up that thing, and I'll walk out the door. Hooray, one piece is mine. Oh no, it goes completely wrong. Can I sneak past you? Dog? <laughs> Fine leather jacket. Never. Da -da 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 -da. Very good. I think I saw this before I saw Sancho Bob do it. Why does guy stand? It's so weird. And his arms just like out at the side like that.
And so, when you can have the, the dialogue with Elaine where you can either insult her, you have to grovel a bunch to win the puzzle, but you, they can also have the choice to insult her. Mm -hmm. I remember watching, and this um, this one woman was playing it, she couldn't figure it out, she couldn't figure it out, she's like, oh, and, she, and we're like, have you tried all the dialogue? She's like, I've tried every dialogue option. And, um, and we're like, what about that one there? Like, there's a dialogue option about, like, have you gained weight? And she's like, Never say that to her. Like that was like too. <laughs> I learned a lot. It's about too far. It. That was the line. Yeah, she was like even to an imaginary video game character, I would never say have you gained weight. These pants make me look fat. I want to see if this works or if it's bad. Okay, good, that didn't work. I'm waiting for your apology. <laughs> I stopped doing the knuckle grabbing me. <laughs> oh, that works. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, the Gabra stuff, love it. Now, no, it's so unnecessary. Don't you want to stand, Elaine? Don't you want to stand? Oh, there's that plank on the wall I want before we leave. No, don't, no, don't leave, don't leave. Go back and get the plank. She's gone. And so, when you can have the. because I need the fishing rods. But luckily I have the fish. Pick up map piece. Quiet you. Filbert. Can I pick up the dog? Uh. Oh no. this bird's eye view to see where it goes. That's some nice animation. Well, shoot. Alright, let's get the dog. So I don't have to come back for the dog. I'd rather keep the dress on as long as possible, but... Skybrush? 
talk to This was such a disappointment in the um, special edition where you actually hear them sing it and then it's the worst thing you've ever heard. So that it makes you thankful for the silent one. Here we go! Is there going to be an audio commentary for this? can take this one, but there's no reason to do that. So I'll just leave it there. And we'll go to Scab, I think is probably the best bet to go next.
Ooh, I think time. this may be controversial too, but I think that the special edition for Monkey Two is an improvement. Like, as an old like playing, I'm very nostalgic when I played the special edition for Monkey One. I was kind of like the old art is so charming. I would play it in the old art. The new art was really pretty, but I was really drunk. But Monkey Two, I'm not saying that Monkey Two looked bad, but we were just starting to use the scanner, and so we hadn't cleaned up much stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really nice to see it switch into that cleaned up view, because I think you know. In later games, we would take all those stray pixels out of there and just smooth it all smooth out. Smooth it all out, yeah. I think some of that's an artifact of the markers, because you know Peter Chan did everything with those markers. Mm -hmm. It's all done with the markers. I think that's a little bit of an artifact of that. That's my round away, my roundabout compliment of the Monkey Two Special Edition. Why am I here? Oh, I want to get this fixed. Uh, I want to get the nails. Um, have I got the saw? So no, he's in charge of you. It, it looks terrible, but... Um, let's help Wally out while we're here. I love Wally the Crit Fighter. Wally has just been taken so much abuse over the course of this series. <laughs> it just seems to be... Well, you know, we cut that stuff stuff. at the end of the game. Oh, yeah, we Solve another puzzle already. Right what? Yes, you do.
next time at some point. Carrying so many animals. Right, where do I want to go next? Um, back to fat, is it? Why do I go back to fat? Oh, for the fishing rods. For a long time, the character. for a long time. I literally just did that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Because it's got to be done. I like how they've drawn a picture of uh, just trying to draw a moustache on the old paintbrush. Time to turn up, hey Kate. Go back, go back, because you can get it. 
Just also the big Pirates of the Caribbean ride ripoff yeah. moment yeah. too. I can't. Ah, what's happening? No, stop things. Why would it do that? Uh, look at you. I'm supposed to get all four map pieces in this session, I don't think... Or maybe I'm on track for one. Yeah. Apparently this is like, the, apart from that dodgy animation, this is a, a puzzle that a lot of people struggled with, because they didn't get that whole monkey wrench pun. Um, I don't know how I figured it out. It, uh, I don't remember it being that much of a problem. I remember when you had that
I'm sorry she put the near grog in there while he's not looking, but... Oh, he's in... that was weird. Does he go back in the tunnel, or will he...? Do I have to walk all the way through again? Or will he just pop out? Oh, I have to walk through again? Oh, gosh. I think I can shortcut from the map to get... Don't go back in the hole. There's more places to click on screen. Satisfying thing in any game ever. Stan. <laughs> so good. a mistake. Now he's going to give me some uh, stuff. Oh, when you hammer all the nails in Stan's coffin to trap him, you t I turned off Minjiffies. Well, there's a, little, there's really? a little scum tip for you guys. Just so it go really turned fast? Turned off Minjiffies so it would go really fast. But I think on a modern computer it would go so fast that it would break the speed of light. Uh, and pull Go back computer. in time? Yeah, it might cause a, a shift. It would undo several puzzles that they had done previously. You remember, do you remember turning off Minjiffies? It was yeah. like a, it was like a Keystone Cops. Well, effect. if you held, if you held down the Shift key, you know, in the debug mode, if you held down the Shift key, we just turned yeah, off Minjiffies. Yeah, so we could possible. run around as fast yeah. as we wanted. Yeah. Okay, must have already. No, get back in. logo on the other coffee. I love any game that has a spinning contest. Look you at know that picture of the spit of the, the little banner with the spitting mouth. Ugh. What a gross game. Who came up with the spitting contest? No one wants to open the spinning contest. <laughs> no know? one's like, that's I, my baby. I think you programmed it. Though. Nope. Well, yeah, I did. I did the programming of it. Programming. 
because it was really I challenging, like, and we always gave me the. I, I, I like the, uh, the the methods that you used to win, though, which is cheat, yeah. cheat, and cheat again, basically. <laughs> Your standard it's a, it's guy rush lesson. adventure game. It's a, it, our, our, our games are, are, are forming the morals of the youth of today. Well, it's a game about pirates. It's a, it's a social you can't one. teach positive moral values in a game about pirates. <laughs> pirates, what do they do? They steal. They pillage. pillage. We're just pillage. lucky we, they left out the third one. Hmm. You know, I did all those adventure games for kids at Humongous Entertainment. We really had to come up with very contrived reasons why you weren't just stealing everything that you had to pick up. I remember having to write a lot of lines for Pajama Sam about that, and my take was always, oh, I found this, I better try and find the owner and give it back. You know, there's always <laughs> carrying around all these things that were going to go back to somebody. Yeah. Or I don't if the think person was there, he would always I ask to this. borrow it. Yeah, yeah, can I borrow yeah. that? Because adventure games just do not teach children good habits at all. But playing them can teach you valuable things like reading, yes. English, stealing, pointing, clicking, spitting, spitting, saving often. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. How do you solve this? But you blow the horn, and that makes the cannoneer fires cannon. Why does he do that? 
It's an adventure game. Who knows? And then you have to watch that girl's belt to see to if see the wind is blowing. Because you have to blow. Oh, and you have to move the flags. Have to move the flags. That's why you keep distracting people with the cannon. Yeah. I like that do save icon they have. The little. Oh, so three, one of the uh, things that you do is not cheating. You distract the guy so you can move the flags. Oh, and then you're but using you're wind, for the wind. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah, also yeah. another thing a pirate have to do as a sailor. Understand the wind. Understand the direction of the, the wind. wind. You'll notice though with the with the the green stuff that you make and drink, we we sort of uh, uh, predicted the entire like all the doping scandals and all the other sports. Like, do you have to make special spit? spit? Is he juiced? Yeah, you have to. You have to he's juiced. He's juiced in this. He's juiced. Yeah, you make the. Oh, juice! I thought you. The juice. The recipe of the green gunk that makes your spit better. Right. Why would that make your spit better. fly farther? It just it makes it hang viscous. together better. But so wouldn't that make it also heavier? Well, I'm not sure the weight of a glob of spit is the limiting okay, factor Newton. there. You can spit it harder in it. <laughs> Trust me, last the time I was in a spitting contest, says, they, Dave's going to write the science really of hard. Monkey Island book. You know, it, it, it <laughs> vaporizes. <laughs> That's the problem with uh, Chuck and Pumpkins, too, is if you drop too hard. I like how this is, I think this is Peter Chan's own writing. writing. The flag says, spit and fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put that on a flag? It's it's why you, it's why you, don't, you don't let artists write. <laughs> and what would you put on? It would be fun and spit. Oh, well. That's much better. Yeah, it's mm. kind of it rolls better. I assume it's the same seagull. I have no reason to believe otherwise. four more. Oh no, I need to buy like uh, an infinite amount. No, you don't. You do this. Pick up. Use. And just keep going. And then he, yeah. There's nothing in any of these. Oh, there you go. That's the telescope. Took me a 
whole session to get one, and now I was thinking I'd get all four. But um, I think I'm about to trigger a cutscene, and then I'm going to have to call it quits for now. Cutscene that uh, previously was going to use different. Um, some more close-up animation, more detailed artwork, but they decided to use the normal game um, graphics instead. Which is kind of it's fine. I think the, the, it's a bit more dynamic the way they, they did it in the end. But I do like the uh, artwork that they left out. This is what can be managed to Woohoo! And that gets me uh, Kate. It's such a big ask. <laughs> Although he's selling them up, he's for six million, so fair enough. Meanwhile, Elaine's chucking those out of the window. Nothing just 